Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog and welcome to another exciting episode of Extreme Exotic Whips. Yeah, I'm in a tank top right now because my shirt is inside my car. So I thought I would just walk out that house like that, have everything in the car so this way I can hurry up and get over there. I'm already like massive late though. But anyway, without further ado, let's walk to the car and let's also get a nice cold start to meet some 350Z Super Veloce. Alright, 9,000 years later, we get into the car. And I also got to find parking down there because we're, we're going today, no cars allowed. Well, this car is there, but it's just that we can't park too close or we got to find a spot to pay for parking. Ah, it's a long story. Bag, check, co-start. Yeah! Let's go, baby. Hi, and we are out. Making our way to the event. We're out. We're out. Oh, yeah, we're cruising for bruising, baby. Let's hub you up. Two hours later. Hi. 9,000 years later, we're good. We finally get parking. That's the good news, but the bad news is, as you can see, we have a flat. It's not like 100% to the ground i don't even know what caused it but it doesn't make no sense to even go back to the house so let's just um get on with the show and um get the moving now for the moment that y'all finally been waiting for this took like nine thousand years for me to get here so oh man i was lucky to get the parking so let's see what collection do they have up here since the event's supposed to be ending and i think i see one of my homies i see him but he don't see me hi right, and we got ace back on the vlog yes he is here and we checking out everything here so he's giving me the the walkthrough right now i'm here i'm super duper old jamaica late and we got ace giving you the latest came you the greatest and yes welcome to another episode of extreme exotic whips oh this is a Huracan evo but those seats chop them they're not good for long distance drive starting there for like 10 minutes like it's good for like 30 minutes but other than that i don't know say say goodbye to, to your back Uh, not yet, man, but show me around, brother, man. Show me. Oh, oh, oh hold on one second. You got to pay homage to this old Viper right here. Oh, man. American Muscle V10 at its greatest. I, I think this is like a Gen 2 Viper. I like these. Matter of fact, I think we've seen this car before in um Brooklyn. Yeah, in Brooklyn. Same guy. He always comes to every close events. Always and the cheapest I seen this one. I mean, this particular Viper right here, and I like this body style too. Before we get into the 2000s, was um, I think this guy bought it for like 40k. Can't beat that. American Muscle can't beat it. I had a chance to get it on um, a gray one. No, that one. As you see it, right? Yeah. Oh, this one. I, nah, I haven't seen this one. I'm still afraid of this car. The fact that it's so much power. Yep, the kids. Gotta love the kids, man. Look at this. Handprints. Do we have a wipe? Okay, so we got the blue exposed carbon right here. Carbon here. Carbon lip. Oh. And we got the... Oh, we loaded with the center seats. Oh. Nah, but these seats are comfortable. Had a chance to try them. Man, they're so comfortable, Ace. Yo, you gotta try them, man. I gotta drag you, man, one mm -hmm. of these days. I mean, one, yeah. I mean, I've been to about this before, so I know, I already know how it feels. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the pole, though. Somebody dropping in it. Like, it's gonna snap your neck. Oh, yeah. And we also have more fingerprints here, but this is a, a good combo. But for me, I probably was, like I said, blue. And you see, like, the, the contrast in here. I mean, this right here would be red. Red, red, red. But mine's got the saber a little bit. And then these exhaust tips, gone. And I'll put titanium. And the blue tips like right here. But the unobtainium exhaust, man, it sounds good in this car. 
camera real quick. Nicely specced out 765 LT. This is just a quick look real quick. Man, the suede. Man, even the seats going along with the suede though. So the color combination is nice. Along with the racing harness. Gotta have that. We got the dry carbon. And then I never seen this before, but as far as you can make this an option if you want this as a roof. I mean a sunroof or just plain suede right here, like that's fine. I mean that actually is a nice touch though. First time me seeing that. This is nice though. Alright. Now here is the, the car that um that started off with McLaren as far as what they styling. At least when it comes to one particular thing that sticks out though. And it is this car right here. So these doors look look familiar, right? Yep, so this car right here, I forgot the name of this car. It's actually a Toyota actually. So they were the ones that started McLaren and their trend as far as like having their doors go up. Alright, so as I was saying, so this is the car that started McLaren on their way as far as on um, with the whole doors up thing. So this was the first car to actually do it though. Crazy. It's an automatic too. I don't think they would ever sell this though, but man, this is dope. You don't even need to have supercar money to um to even have this though. That the the glass goes all the way back though, so I guess this trunk space, I guess this whole hatch lift up. I never had a chance to see it. And I can't even pronounce that CR CR. Um my pronunciation, my pronunciation, pronunciation sucks though. But yeah, but this was the car that had McLaren start off on their journey though. I mean, I would rock it though. I would definitely rock it. So if you ever wonder where McLaren got their inspiration from, this is the car that started them off. All right, between the 765, the Artura, the Artura is the lowest cylinder hybrid this is like a mini um p1 actually so it has um six cylinder twin turbo i think um three electric motors if i'm not mistaken i had a chance to check out the um the euro spec you know of this though another thing i also like about this car well we get right here like there's a Oh, like in here that all this stuff lights up so when you come to the back and you get it from this angle like inside where the silver pieces are at like that lights up that lights up i know i've mentioned this before but yeah we have like a lot of you know center dna here so that's something that this um this car has that a lot of the cars on um, don't have and then if we go to the other side right here we have a little bit of 350z dna i know and i'm not being biased towards my car because with this the whole um instrument cluster moves with the wheel finally mclaren should have implemented this a long time ago but late is better than never right so when you move the steering wheel this goes up and down another thing that i like about as far as on um, what mclaren's is that say like you have something in your hand i know i mentioned this before and you only have one hand free so say if you want the upshift with the same paddle you just push it down so you can upshift even with the minus on um, paddle though but this is like i guess like a race edition though so we have the the leather with the dry carbon right here on the sides and then um we also got like i guess like a center console space right here for your stuff you know if you need to charge a phone like that i mean this space for like i guess like a red bull and a cup back here if you want to squeeze behind the screen and um that is pretty much it though 
and we got the nice roof lawn too and you also got this little space back here but i'm not sure how usable it is now that they add like the the bar for the to you know for the, the racing harness though but this is um pretty sweet so i like it i said man i would have to definitely try this at least like one day this this might be a a, a more like reliable car so just gotta see how this one's gonna go so i'm just gonna walk around real quick so this is the the lotus now it is so short though I had a chance to try one of these out but it was the lotus evora that i had a chance to try out years back i think it was a a red one but this is um still nice though i think um the powertrain and like and one of these was like under toyota if i'm not mistaken it's like another what luxury brown toyota of toyota i think at one point i could be wrong but i know one of these had like a toyota in, in it so you have some portions right here i'm not you know super knowledgeable about these on um, porsches though but these are nice and then these are like getting to like 2006 and up nope my fault these are the fried egg headlights no but i see the way how they did it so it looked like it's still modern because they tinted the rest of this but not too dark but just slightly to where you notice it but you don't notice it too much but this is still nice more porsches more and then i say like more porsches and then oh look what do we have here classic bmws that this is like mint mint condition perfect sangue exhaust in the center no, I think this is the BMW. Is this a two? It's like a two thousand. Wait, hold on. I was right. It is a two thousand two. As far as for my situation, and see the inside. Said we was fine. You know, I ain't seen nothing on this side, but this side was getting messed up. And then come again, the inside. Blown out, yo. Look at this. Look at this crap I got to deal with, yo. Look at that. But don't worry, this will get fixed in no time. Crazy. Two hours later. Alright, 9,000 years later. In traffic. I did both tires instead of one, so now I'm at 285.40 instead of 285.35. So now I gotta, you know, make sure that both of my back tires are even. So it's a little bit thicker in the back side as far as with those tires though. But I'm not gonna um, drag this outro any longer because I'm in traffic and traffic's no fun. So I can't even do no fun pulls here. So without further ado, like, comment, and subscribe. I think I said that already. And um, keep those post notifications on. And I'll be definitely be seeing y'all in the next one. And we out.